ARP how to work. The section two, ARP spoof and uh, prevent. The first one is a protocol how to work. ARP is a protocol. I will explain ARP how to work. ARP insert. What is the ARP? In broadcast uh, multiple access network, Ethernet. Broadcast multiple access network. If you know OSPF, OSPF network type NBMA, long broadcast multiple access network. NBMA, OSPF network type. Okay. Broadcast multiple access network. BMA, Ethernet. This network type lead ARP like ARP like protocol. Ethernet use ARP. <coughs> Ethernet, okay, a device in Ethernet use ARP address the solution protocol to discover other hosts on the network by mapping the hardware address MAC. Okay, 48 bit to destination IP address, 32 bit. ARP can work in auto mode or manual mode. You can static config ARP mapping. ARP, okay, in Ethernet. Mapping logical IP address to physical MAC address. Again, again, in BMA network, Ethernet, use device, use ARP to mapping physical MAC address, okay, to logical IP address, logical IP address, because you can change IP address to any IP address, okay? You can change change IP address, but the MAC address is physical. IP address is logical, okay? ARP packet. Look again. The first important important thing is that ARP is long IP, long IP. For example, long IP protocol is a, for example, long IP, long IP, long IP, ARP, IPX, Apple Talk, PPPOE, PPPOE, non IP, okay, IP, almost every protocol is IP, um, ISMP, TCP, UDP, TLH, HTTP, FTP, SMTP, SNMP, okay, almost uh, every protocol is TCP, uh, is IP, okay? Long IP protocol, a few, a few protocol is a long IP. ARP is a long IP protocol, okay? <coughs> protocol type, O6, OX, OX, O8, O6. Okay, Ethernet protocol type. The option code one, ARP request two response. This is a request, sender IP, sender mark, target, request, target, IP. This is a question, 
this is a question, okay? Uh, this is a ARP response option code to ARP response unicast near to unicast request near to broadcast response layer to unicast okay um, the sender source MAC address is the answer is the an answer request question question answer source response source MAC address this is the answer okay ARP packet long IP long IP very important long IP let network topology today I only use a one client a two new client and Kali Linux okay three device QI Tong CCMP security rack is a full rack is a full rack CCNA uh, ASA firewall ASA firewall fire power firewall uh, like CCMP security ISE ESA WSA VPN secure okay full rack CCMP security full rack if you want to capture the packet the normal means is use span switch port analyzer no if you if if you are the network administrator you are the network administrator you want to capture the packet in normal means okay you can use span not use a ARP flood this is a that is a hacker means senior hacker senior means okay if you network admin you can use this span to capture the packet hacker can use the ARP spoof ah we would ARP spoof to capture but this is a hacker senior means you can capture packet you can use a span okay span let me look at the span recovery the config recovery the config no prosecuting security If you know switch port port security, other config no useful. No useful, okay? Switch port port security enable. No switch port port security disable. Other configuration no useful. No. Okay? I can pin one, I can pin two. This is Kali Linux. If I want to capture the packet, if if you want to capture packet, if you are the network manager, you can use the span. Let me configure the span. Monitor session one or two. The low end switch one or two. The high end switch one two. Three. Say 16, 16, 16, 16, okay. Source VLAN. Let me look at VLAN. R1, R2, Kani, VLAN 2, okay. So, monitor session 1, source VLAN 2, RX, or interface FA. FA 0 slash 1 both source you you can source interface you can source VLAN uh, you can
capture the rx receive tx translate okay send rx receive tx send both both direction send and receive okay i want capture r1 traffic r1 interface both monitor session one id match id match source destination interface okay id match source destination source destination okay config finished let me look at the capture workshop Okay. SMP tilt. Configure your password. Show wrong. Show version. And quit. Look at capture. All packet has captured. Show run, show version, all clear text. Tell it is very unsecurity protocol. Okay. This is span. If you use a network administrator, you span capture packet, not use a hacker means. Mac Flodian, ARP spoof, that is a hacker tool. Okay. So let me let me look at the ARP spoof. ARP protocol, how to work? Finished. ARP spoof. ARP spoof intro. Uh, step one, this is a, uh, let me look at the picture. PCA is a normal computer, normal user, normal computer. Okay, this is a gateway. C is a gateway. B is a attacker. A is a normal user, normal computer. C is a gateway. B is a attacker. Okay, step one. A had cracked mapping. A re, ARP request, do ARP request, C uh, do ARP response. So A had cracked mapping. 10.0.1.1 mapping mark C. The gateway IP is a 10. 10.0.1.1. This is a gateway C IP address. Okay. This is a correct mapping. C had correct mapping. 10.0.1.2. This is a PCB IP address. Mapping mark A is correct mapping. Okay. If A and B ARP mapping is correct. The traffic goes through like this. Okay, the B cannot capture any packet between A and C because A and C ARP mapping is correct. Okay, now let me start ARP spoof. B is an attacker. B use Kali Linux. Use Kali Linux script ARP spoof. Let me look. Look, ARP spoof is a Kali Linux built-in script. 
Okay. Uh, step two, the B attacker initiated ARP spoof attack. B send ARP spoof reply. ARP spoof reply packet to A. Send ARP spoof reply packet to C. To use the spoof A ARP reply to pause the A ARP catch. Use this ARP spoof reply to pause C gateway ARP catch. Okay. Uh, maybe someone will ask the computer do not initiate an ARP request, but B attacker send A a gratuitous ARP reply. The A will accept accept it. Yes, Ethernet is full. Okay. Again, A do not initiate an ARP request, but B attacker send A a gratuitous ARP replies. The A will accept it, will accept it, because Ethernet is full. Okay, receive ARP reply, will accept. Okay, so the ARP spoof reply, poison A ARP catch, poison C gateway ARP catch. The, now, A ARP catch 10.0.1.1 gateway IP address mapping to Mac B. Mac B is a hacker, Kali Linux Mac address. Now, C gateway ARP mapping is a 10.0.1.2 mapping Mac B. Mac B is a Kali Linux Mac address. Okay, if you use this ARP mapping, ARP catch the traffic like this A go through B, forwarding to C to Internet. Internet bank C, C for go through B, B forward to A. A and internet traffic all go through B. Can capture everything. Okay, this is an ARP spoof. Poise, ARP catch, capture all traffic. Okay. Let me go on. This is a ARP spoof intro. Let me know AR no span. Clear span configuration. The Kani can pin one. Wait, wait, wait. Connected. Switch port per fast. Support. Port fast. Okay. Pin one. Pin two. Okay, Kali Linux is C, uh, is B, is B, okay. Let me look at the ARP cache now. R1, show ARP. R1 mark address is 1. 2 mark address is 2, okay. This is Kali Linux mark. Now, the ARP mapping is correct. Let me look at R2. Show ARP. R1. Mark 1. Once 100 is Kali Linux. 
OK， 卡里 Linux， 卡里 Linux OK。This is the correct ARP catch before attack. You must enable Kali Linux IP forwarding. The default Linux IP forwarding is disabled. You must enable because the traffic goes through B. So Kali Linux the B must enable IP forwarding must enable IP forwarding and use this command to enable Linux IP forwarding. Echo template enable the IP forwarding. You can paste and co copy and paste. Says that IP v4 IP net IP v4 IP forward IP forward okay enable Linux IP forwarding okay uh, let me use uh, Kali Linux protein script ARP spoof to attack, to make ARP spoof attack. To terminal. ARP spoof. ARP spoof. T1, R2. Tell use this use this sweep. The Kali Linux will tell the one I am the two. Okay. I tell the one. I mark is the two. Kali Linux mark is a two zero two dot one hundred one hundred dot one dot two my mark is this IP address okay tell this PC my mark is this IP address ARP spoof script tell tell this PC send spoof ARP reply to this IP address tell him my local Kali needs MAC address is mapping to this IP address. Okay. Tell one, I'm two. Tell two, I'm one. I'm one. Okay. Send ARP reply to two. Tell two I am local MAC address is one. Okay, ARP spoof. Send to two. I'm one. Send to one. I'm two. Okay. Let me look at the result. One, the two IP, the mark poisoned. This is a Kali Linux mark address. Okay. The two, the one mark address poisoned. This mark is Kali Linux. Okay. The ARP spoof successful. So, yeah, we shock. Only capture one. 
So let me count. Show version and quit. Okay, all talent has captured. ARP spoof successful. All traffic captured. Okay, let me stop. Stop the script. The script will recover the ARP mapping. Will recover. If do not recover, then the network spoke broken okay if do not recover the the communication between r1 and r2 broken because the cutting index is is on appear okay must recover recover the arp mapping okay look at the arp mapping recovered recovered okay communication okay yes arp spoof arp spoof let me look at the cisco security solution dynamic arp inspection dai this feature prevent arp spoof attack okay how to configure uh di intro uh, you can configure uh, any interface to trusted interface or untrusted interface. For first, uh, you need to configure the trusted interface. The other interface, except the trusted interface, is untrusted. Okay? First, you must configure the trusted interface, except the trusted interface. Other interface is untrusted. Trusted interface just as its land in implants. Okay, all ARP packets forward without any check. Untrusted port intercept all ARP requests and response and check if IP2 MAC mapping is legal. Check database. Check the mapping. Is correct. If not correct, stop. Okay. Only the correct mapping forward. Untrusted port intercept all ARP requests and response. Check if the mapping is correct. Correct forward. Other stop. Okay, there are two databases. One, if your, if your network scenario, scenario is a static IP address, manual config IP address, static IP address scenario, you must configure a static ARP ACL to create the database. Uh, ARP ACL conf config a uh, static config ip2 mac mapping static to config ip2 mac database okay and um, if if your network is a dhcp scenario uh, you must uh, have a dhcp snooping feature dhcp snooping feature will record all the record all the dhcp info okay dhcp snooping uh, create DHCP snooping binding interface in the database have IP2 MAC address mapping. Uh, today, my network scenario is a static IP address, so I will static I, I will config ARP ACO to create a static database, a static config manual config the IP2 MAC mapping. Okay. Uh, conf configure DI steps. 
First, if you if you if you use DHCP, you have DHCP snooping. Okay, um, but um, today I use static IP address. So so cannot cannot enable DHCP snooping. Okay. Uh, set a trust interface. Trust interface. Um, you must configure the switch interconnect interface to trust. Okay. Set trust interface. You must configure the switch interconnect interface to trust. Trust interface. Okay. Trust interface. Do do not check anything. Okay. Only forward. Except trust trust port, all other port will be will be set untrusted port automatic automatically. Okay, set trust port interconnect port switch interconnect port must configure trusted. Other interface will be set untrusted port automatically. Okay. Set ARP rate limit. Set ARP rate limit. Optional. Uh, if you, if you IP if you use static IP address, static menu config IP address, you must config ARP ACL for static IP to MAC mapping. Okay. Uh, optional, you can config error disable recovery action. The finally. You have DAI on the VLAN list. Okay. Step one, because non DHCP scenario, so there are no DHCP snooping configuration is required. Two, configure switch interconnect interface to trust ports. How to configure trust ports? If the twenty six port, if the twenty six port is a switch interconnect port, you must configure inspection trust trust. Okay, all interconnect interface between switch must configure IP ARP inspection trust. Okay. Uh, except other, other, except trust port, all other port will be set on trusted port. Okay. Because, uh, because I use a static IP address, so I need to configure ARP ACL. Configure the uh, on trusted port rate limit, ARP rate limit. Range one, two, seventeen, R one, R two, Kali Linux, IP ARP inspection limit rate. If if the threshold exceed, the interface will be shut down and alert. Okay, like the per security violation. That's step five for static IP address host on the untrust port configure ARP ACL ACL one and two is the legal host and um, limit ARP packet per second if exceed if you use a, let me look at this. If you use a map, a map is a famous network scanner. A map is a famous network scanner. Okay. If you use a map to scan connect sublet. Again, if you use a map to scan connect sublet. Mmap will generate a mass of 
ARP request to do ARP scan. ARP scan, okay. You can use IP ARP inspection limit rate to stop the MMAP network scan, okay. To stop ARP scan, only stop ARP scan. Cannot stop the ARP spoof. Stop ARP scan. AR Nmap famous network scanner. Uh, if the scan connect sublet, he will generate a mass of ARP request. So I will use I can use limit rate to stop this scan. Okay, exceed the limit, the threshold, the interface will be disabled, shut down. Okay, the limit rate only to stop network scanner. For example, a map. Okay, now let me look, configure the ARP ACL. ARP access list, QI Tang ARP filter is the only LAN. Permit IP host one mark this two legal host. Okay, IP MAC mapping database, ARP ACO. You can use this command to apply. Apply on a VLAN. Static, use static ARP ACO mapping. Okay, use the ARP ACO. On VLAN 2, VLAN 2, all host in VLAN 2. Okay. Step 6 Configure error disable recovery cause ARP. Uh, look at cause. Many cause. Port security, port security, port security. I think this. Post security violation. Uh, Post security violation cause, uh, cause, uh, cause. ARP inspection. Error disable re uh, recovery interval. Second. One eight zero second. Okay. Error disable interface. You can recovery use shutdown, no shutdown, administrator menu, shutdown, no shutdown. Okay, if if you in the very large network, the administrator shutdown, no shutdown, many many work. Okay, so you need the auto auto error disable. Recovery feature. This is the auto recovery feature. Error disable interface auto recovery feature. You can configure the cause. Cause. Okay. And um, ARP inspection, port security, cause. And uh, recovery interval. Seconds. Down. This second pass. And uh, up again. Okay, this is the error disable auto recovery feature. The final step, the step seven, yellow DI on VLAN. Okay, finished. A DAI feature. If you attack, if you attack.
prevent. Okay, this is alert. Prevent ARP spoof. R1 and R2 ARP mapping. No, is correct. Okay. This is correct. This attack have prevent by Cisco security feature DAI. Okay. Use DAI feature. The attacker has be prevent. Okay. Then let me look at the M map. Uh, the interface now is up. Interface now is up. Up. Okay, let me unmap. <coughs> unmap. Pin scan. ARP scan. Pin scan and ARP scan. Create a mass of a pin and a mass of ARP request. The interface done. Okay, ARP inspection. Rate limit exceed. ARP inspection error detect. The interface done. Prevent the ARP, uh, prevent the ARP scan, prevent ARP scan, use li rate limit, uh, use DI to prevent ARP spoof. All ARP attack can be prevented by Cisco security feature DAI. Okay. So, finished. Okay. Any question now? Any question now? Today's course, topical, finished. Okay, I will teach the Mac flood, Mac, Mac spoof, and the ARP spoof, hacker attack, uh, protocol, how to work, and uh, Cisco security feature, how to prevent the attack. Okay, today's course, finished. Any question? Okay. Close. Okay.